Voyager 1 NASA's space probe has been transmitting valuable data from deep space for nearly five decades. However, the spacecraft has recently been transmitting alarming data back to Earth, leaving the space industry in shock. Join us as we learn the truth behind these stunning discoveries. Since the dawn of time, scientists have been fascinated by the mysteries beyond our celestial borders. This curiosity led to the historic launch of the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft, as well as other extraordinary space missions. The long-awaited missions began with a launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. Two weeks later, on September 5, Voyager 1 followed suit. These twin probes, weighing a substantial 720 kilograms each, equivalent to that of a small car, were propelled into space during a unique alignment of the outer planets. Throughout their incredible odyssey, these intrepid explorers navigated diverse trajectories and speeds, leading to a pivotal moment on December 15, 1977. Voyager 1 surpassed its identical twin owing to the variations in their paths. Since then, Voyager 1 has become an invaluable resource, providing us with an abundance of knowledge and unraveling space-related mysteries. Before we dive into the Voyager's terrifying new discovery that shocked the entire space industry, let's explore the remarkable images captured by the spacecraft during its groundbreaking Jovian imaging mission in 1978. Voyager 1 was stationed approximately 265 million kilometers from Earth. From this vantage point, it transmitted a staggering number of photographs back to Earth. In January 1979, it embarked on an extraordinary 100-hour endeavor, capturing a mesmerizing time-lapse movie showcasing 10 rotations of Jupiter. A cornucopia of 3,750 images allowed us to witness Jupiter's majestic dance in vivid detail. In the subsequent months, Voyager 1 ventured through the Jovian moon system, where it made a remarkable discovery, the presence of a diminutive ring encircling Jupiter. Additionally, two new moons, Thabe and Metis, were brought to our attention, further expanding our understanding of Jupiter's enthralling realm. To ensure a safe passage and prevent a potential collision with Titan, one of Saturn's moons, corrective maneuvers were executed. In January 1990, the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 began the Voyager interstellar mission after discovering four new moons, including Enceladus. This marked the end of the Voyager planetary mission, which took both spacecraft beyond our solar system at a speed of 325 million miles per year. During this era, Voyager 1 captured famous photos of the Sun and most planets. Carl Sagan, an astronomer and part of the Voyager missions team, was instrumental in expanding the missions beyond their primary goals. Sagan advocated for acquiring a final series of photographs. On February 14, 1990, Voyager 1 was positioned 6 billion kilometers away from the Sun and embarked on a photographic journey, capturing 60 breathtaking images that added to the spacecraft's impressive collection of 670 photographs. During its encounter with Neptune, Voyager 2 also achieved an extraordinary feat, recording a wind-rich atmosphere and providing unique insights into a faraway celestial body, particularly Neptune's largest moon, Triton. Triton is one of the coldest places in our solar system, with surface temperatures reaching negative 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Triton's unique features, including nitrogen gas emitting ice volcanoes that propel freezing particles 5 kilometers into its tenuous atmosphere, have grabbed our imagination. These astonishing findings have expanded our understanding of the diversity and intricacy of celestial objects in our solar system. The Voyager 1 spacecraft has revealed a scary discovery. Let's take a look back at the probe's achievements over the past 45 years. The Voyager twin probe's early observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons, which were thought to be inactive and heavily pockmarked like our own moon, have been nothing short of extraordinary. Voyager 2, in particular, achieved several remarkable milestones during its voyage. In 1986, the Voyager spacecraft made history as the first to fly by Uranus. Three years later, it achieved another milestone by flying by Neptune, making it the only spacecraft to have done so. NASA has taken steps to extend the operational lifespan of the Voyager spacecraft. Non-essential components and heaters have been turned off to conserve energy, allowing the explorers to continue their mission into the next decade. The mission is estimated to end in 2030. For the scientists and engineers who have been involved since its inception, 
the data collected by voyagers has led to various scientific breakthroughs and piqued the interest of many scholars and space enthusiasts. The Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft were built to be steady and rotate at a rate almost 15 times slower than a second hand. The spacecraft's design avoided visual blurring while capturing photographs and data in space. Scientists and the public were impressed by its imaging capabilities even before encountering outer planets. The spacecraft began transmitting photographs of Jupiter months before reaching the gas giant, revealing swirling clouds. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory discovered active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io, which is slightly larger than Earth's moon. The spacecraft's instruments detected unusual signals from Io, which were confirmed by vivid images of towering volcanic plumes and a scarred surface. Pele, a prominent volcano on Io, erupted with a force 30 times greater than Mount St. Helens, covering an area nearly the size of France. The spacecraft's cameras were powered down to conserve power and memory before their journey into interstellar space. It's worth noting that the photos captured did not include Mercury and Mars for various reasons. In addition to the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 interstellar probes, NASA has flown additional important spacecraft, including Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons. On February 17, 1998, Voyager 1 flew by Pioneer 10, becoming the furthest distant spacecraft. Voyager 1 traveled for 14 years before reaching interstellar space on August 25, 2012. Despite the absence of other space probes, NASA did not officially close this feat until 2013. What are the strategies that ensured the success of the Voyager missions? In the legendary Voyager missions, one technique stood out as truly brilliant, gravity assist maneuvers. These maneuvers played a crucial role in propelling Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 on their audacious quest to explore the outer reaches of our solar system. In order to reach these distant destinations and gather invaluable data, the spacecraft needed more than just their own propulsion systems, they needed a boost, and gravity assist provided just that. Imagine the two intrepid space probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, embarking on their grand tour of the solar system. Instead of relying solely on their engines, they engaged in a celestial dance with some of our solar system's heavyweight planets. This intricate choreography allowed them to utilize the immense gravitational pull of these giants to slingshot themselves on their way. By doing so, they conserved precious fuel and gained the velocity required to visit multiple destinations. Learn the basics of gravity assist, often known as a gravitational slingshot. The goal of this maneuver is to use a planet's motion to propel a spaceship. When Voyager 1 approached Jupiter, a huge gas giant with a gravitational pull of immense strength, with precise precision, Voyager 1 swung by Jupiter at the perfect angle and speed. Jupiter's gravity accelerated the spaceship, offering a cosmic boost. Performing a gravity assist maneuver needs extreme precision to avoid a disastrous outcome. The flight team carefully calculated the spacecraft's trajectory, taking into account the gravitational influences of each planet. Years of preparation and precise calculations led to success. The gravity assist maneuver was a triumph of engineering ingenuity. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 used the gravitational pull of four planets during their tour of the solar system. The first gravity assist occurred when they encountered Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. This was followed by a journey to Saturn, which has impressive rings and intriguing moons. Voyager 1 used gravity to navigate past Saturn's largest moon, Titan, Uranus and its 27 moons, and Neptune, a planet with a bluish atmosphere. After launching from Earth, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 began their mission to the outer worlds. Their success was based on several major strategies and technological advances. 1. Trajectory planning The paths of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were carefully planned to optimize their encounters with several planets. This involved precisely calculating when and where to use gravity assist maneuvers to attain the desired trajectory. 2. Gravity assist maneuvers As previously described, the Voyager missions relied on maneuvers to reach further into the outer solar system than onboard propulsion alone. By flying close to planets like Jupiter and Saturn, the spacecraft used their gravitational fields to gain speed and change trajectories. 3. Options for lifespan and redundancy The Voyager spacecraft were designed for longevity and redundancy, with redundant systems to ensure continued operation even if some components failed. 
This robust design has allowed Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 to function for decades beyond their original mission lifespans. 4. Data Storage and Transfer The Voyager probes had advanced data storage and transmission systems. They used onboard digital tape recorders to store scientific data which was then transmitted back to Earth. Although transmission rates were slow compared to modern standards, they still provided valuable information about the outer planets. 5. Scientific Instruments Both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 had a suite of scientific instruments to study planets and their moons, including cameras, spectrometers, magnetometers, and plasma detectors. 6. Navigation Systems During their journey, the Voyager spacecraft relied on accurate navigation systems to stay on course and navigate slight deviations. Corrections were made to ensure the probes remained on target during their planetary encounters. 7. Deep Space Network The Voyager missions depended on NASA's Deep Space Network for communication and data transmission, ensuring continuous contact with Earth throughout their mission.